Hey, what's up? It's co-op night. I got my buddy Nick here. Hi. We're gonna play uh, Donkey Kong Country uh, two-player co-op simultaneous run. Samurai. You know, technically, after you eat tacos, you do get to see them a second time. That's not true. It's optional. You don't have to look at your you poop. You don't have to. You don't have to look. <laughs> Everybody looks at their poop. Yeah, though. but you don't have to. But when have you not looked at your poop? Have you ever not looked at your poop? As far as more you can so remember. recently since I got a bidet because like I Why? I go by the paper. Like if I. If I spritz and wipe, then I but, look, and if there's nothing there, I'm not, I don't need to examine the turd. But you're not curious you. about the epic log that you have left behind. No, only if it feels weird on the exit. I was going to say broski and, and buddy, and then it came out. Isn't Barbo is that the dance that they do in Adam's family? Uh, the mamushka. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, when you guys go to a fast food restaurant. Hi, Dave. Do you tend to eat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so like let's say let's say you order let's let's say you order uh two McDoubles, a McChicken, and a small fry. No large fry. Okay, fine, a large fry. Would you ever eat would you space it out so you eat a burger, then something else, and something else, and then the burger at the end? Do Absolutely you, not. You, you don't do it that way? No, because I'm a normal human being. I try to space out the food so I'm not eating all of one thing at once. Unless it's like a two for meal. Like if I got a burger and fries, like I'll eat the fries and the burger. But I usually don't graze. I eat the one item all together and then I move to the next item. See, that's what I do. I eat all of the one thing and then move on to the next. I used to have this issue when I was younger with eating Thank you. Uh, McNuggets where I would buy a 10 pack of chicken McNuggets and then not eat them for like six hours. Oh, weird. And then I would eat them cold and just Chris, deal with it. Chris says, one thing at a time, we're on poop, then we're on fast food. <laughs> Part of going out to restaurants and stuff is people watching. Thank you! I always kind of hope that there's a couple that gets into a fight when I'm at a restaurant, because that is priceless entertainment. Yeah, it's like a free show and dinner or whatever. Well, I mean, how often do you go and... <laughs> Unless this fight gets too serious. Like if well, yeah, man like, starts beating the crap yeah. out of the date, and you're, <laughs> and you're just like sitting there like, oh, that's not what I wanted. But like, honestly, every single time I am in my living room and somebody gets into a fight outside, like I instantly am like, Donna, Donna, come in here quick. Let's turn off the lights and open the windows so we can, get, so we can hear this better. Ah, you can't get through there. The barrel's too big. Thank you. It's you too see big someone, of a barrel. Uh, kids running around the restaurant and they all, uh, and they trip. Also priceless. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. Like the kid in Freddy Got Finger that like immediately trips and gets his face smashed. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. I've, I've never seen that movie. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, you've never seen Freddy Got Fingered? Unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> from Jared. <laughs> from, from Thumb Tacos. <laughs> you know what? Like, I don't think people that eat alone, I think there's a, there's a certain level of, uh, respect there. I always leave those people alone. I don't want, there's nothing to watch. Hey, can I quick interrupt you for two seconds? Yeah. That's the water level music and it's beautiful. I have to say it every single time I play this game. All right, I'm all right, sorry. Let's all give. Let's all give. No, never mind. I was gonna give me a hell yeah. You can just pause the game and still do it. And no. Make me feel good about myself. <laughs> Meatwad, what do you think? <laughs> Jared, I got a. I got a question for you because we were we were talking about Metallica a little bit earlier because I've actually been having a Metallica conversation with one of my uh, old bandmates uh, th for the last like I don't know probably like hour hour and a half. Anyways, the question is, which is better, Unforgiven 1 or Unforgiven 2? Because Unforgiven 3 is not good. Yeah, that's not in the competition. No. Un Unforgiven 1 is the better song. See, I would I would argue that Unforgiven 2 is better because I like the chorus more. Yeah, but also has that Thank stupid you. lyric, The Unforgiven 2. Yeah, because you're Unforgiven <laughs> 2. Like, it's a play on words, and they made it work because they're intelligent. I, I, I don't think they made it work. Oh, yes, they did. Lyri Metallica lyrics are never something where I'm like, man, they really put a lot Down of thought into it. Down your breakfast off a mirror? Come on. On, man, like that no. lyric is pretty tight. Thank my you. lifestyle determines my death style. Yeah, that's their later <laughs> music. Jesus. Yeah, good one, Lars. Let's put that in the song. Oh wait, I'm still up. That's how this works. Is the call. Metallica conversation about how Lars is awful? But that. that's just a foregone conclusion. <laughs> He's not that bad. He's obviously good enough. Aaron, thank you. Unforgiven too. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Oh, let's let's ask you. What, nobody, what is? What do you mean nobody cares? I care. No, I want no, them to care I, because don't, I care. Don't put words in my mouth. I was <laughs> I was gonna say, not a lot of people probably know both those songs, even okay. though Metallica's is huge. Willing to guess. <laughs> so the question then is, what do you think is better, Unforgiven one or two? I just I want to. I mean, this, I just want to. I, I know. predict three people. Three you know, if, and if say. three people respond, I'm I'm cool with it. What do you mean? Who is Metal? Chris, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Chris. <laughs> what the hell's a Metallica? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Just so you know, this literally that makes my roof? head spin every time you do barrel levels. I know. That fast. I'm the master when it comes to barrels. Yes. I build them, I've Bronk, Unforgiven 2 was better. Thank you. I think you guys are missing. Samantha, Unforgiven 2. I think you guys are. Uh, Unforgiven 2 wins, but uh, being the original, or. But one being the original was amazing. No, I mean, I'm not. Like, they're both. I like both of them. I just. There's aspects of the second one that I enjoy more. Hello, I, don't know. I, I disagree. I think the first one is wonderful. It I would, is. I would have to re-listen to them, and we can't really do that right now. I I do judge songs by how fun they are to sing along to. Matthew says Metallica is the best band ever. They definitely were for me for a long time. Yeah. They held a place in my soul for quite a while. Check out this frog. <laughs> What? Oh, that you didn't get? Yeah. This one is, if you could have a superpower that only works when you're asleep, what would it be, and how would you use it? <laughs> uh, my superpower would be, uh, do my job. <laughs> <laughs> so then when I wake up, it's all done. <laughs> Dude, that's like the best possible answer. Yeah. Well, chat, what do you think? If you could have a superpower while you sleep. Like, that was the best answer. I don't think anybody can top that. Yeah, I don't think, what else are you going to say, like... <laughs> I don't know. Save <laughs> the world. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, if here. you could swap lives with any fictional character for a day, who would it be and what would you do? Uh, Marge Simpson, just to see if the carpet matches the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> and if it sticks way out. And <laughs> You want to know no what reason. I would do? Uh, well, if we're going down you know, that road, I could definitely I was, say... <laughs> No, I would say, like, honestly, like, Homer Simpson in today's world. Oh, no! I don't want to... No, 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 no! Listen to me. Because that guy holds one job for the whole family and is able to pay for every single thing that he has going on. No, Marge works, too. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she does. No, Marge doesn't have a job. Oh, homie! I would be Rick. Like, from Rick and Morty? Or like Rick Grimes, because let me tell you, that would be, that would be <laughs> shitty. <laughs> oh no, I was just. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I was like, oh, I want to be uh... Rick Astley. No, no, I was He's gonna say real. something really horribly inappropriate, but like the guy, <laughs> the guy who plays Jesus in that Mel Gibson movie, <laughs> James Caviezel. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I, I like how I just knew that. I never um, seen that movie. I just heard it was pretty. It's pretty gory. Yeah. Jesus gets his ass beat. <laughs> They should, they should make a, like, a... That, that'll be the next Quentin Tarantino movie. He does that, but he flips it all around like he did. <laughs> He's got a once fucking... Up, once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it turns into... Once Upon a Time in Bethlehem. <laughs> yeah, there it <laughs> Wow. F sleep. I'm sick of playing. Why are you not... I don't know, because you keep not getting hit. I'm that good. Grave of the Fireflies. You can only watch that one and net one once. Oh, you are absolutely right. So, when I first watched Grave of the Fireflies, I didn't realize it was based off of a true story. And when it got about three quarters of the way through, my brother-in-law asked me, so what do you think? And like he, him, my wife, they're all bawling their eyes out. And I didn't care. I'm like, I don't get it. Like, it's just trying to be sad. This is just sad for the point of or sake of being sad. They're like, Nick, this is based off a true story. And I instantly started bawling. <laughs> what is Iron Claw? It's a type of drink. No, that's a white claw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they should make a version like Iron Claw that's like a little bit harder to drink. <laughs> it's made out of iron. <laughs> like like uh, there should be there should be like an there should be an alcoholic milk drink that's real thick. If you could communicate with one species of animal for a day, which would you choose and what would you talk about? Ooh. Yeah, not just why. What would you talk about? I would talk with a squirrel man, because I want to know what the hell's going on in their heads. That seems like <laughs> such a waste. Why would it be a waste? I'm, I'm sure like, they have like 30,000 things to well, talk about. Well, think about all the animals you could talk to. You're like, I want to talk to a squirrel. So there's like one in your backyard. Like, hey, squirrel, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> <And it's> like, <laughs> well, Can well, you imagine? What's how... it like being a squirrel? I don't know, man. Your backyard's pretty cool. <laughs> Can you imagine how jacked they'd be about everything? I guess, kind that of. That would be so awesome. They would just be like, I imagine just the happiest, ri most ridiculous, jacked up, like high on life animal ever. I, I don't know, man. Well, I don't know if, like, if you wanted to talk to something, it'd be what, like a sloth? 
Fine. No, I, I would say How's like a I would say like a sea turtle or something, something that sees something that I can't see. Well, Cage just said turtle. Uh, find some super old ones. Yeah, yeah. I think Allie, that's... I want to talk to a sloth so I can see if they talk as slow as they move. So you can hear it tell jokes like that movie. <laughs> Be like a tree ant. It's only worth saying if it's worth saying, or taking a very long time to say. You pick a squirrel and you're like, hey man, what's going on? A dog just comes in and rips it apart in front of you. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> uh, let's see here, John, Lorem, Bearded Dragons, I would want to know what it's like to be a reptile. Ooh. You're like, yeah, pretty, pretty chill. <laughs> well, I get up and cold, I, cold. I sun, I sun myself and I eat some crickets. <laughs> if you had like some asshole genie, be like, yeah, I want to talk to fucking my dog. Alright. Wish granted, and you're like, all right, Fido, how's it going, man? Woo, woo. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> well, he's here, and now you're talking to him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's talking to you. Well, I don't understand him. Yeah, that's because he's a dog. <laughs> you didn't ask to understand him. You just said if you could talk to him. You certainly can. <laughs> Asshole genie. Poof, 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 poof. Actually, that's a pretty good question. Asshole uh, genie? That's like a whole new character. I like that uh, idea. Yeah. So, if you could have three wishes from a genie, what would your three wishes be? Oh. What do you mean, oh? Well, I don't know, like, you're gonna go with the, can I ask for more wishes? No, absolutely not. All the classic rules apply. <clears throat> can't make anyone fall in love, can't kill somebody, and you can't get more wishes. Uh, I want an unlimited credit card that I can never lose, and it never runs out of money. <laughs> <laughs> the bank of genie <laughs> yeah the, the genie bank card you know i saw uh, a joke the other day that said man i was listening to kid rock and somehow stole my own car carburetor <laughs> <laughs> okay so that was one uh wish the infinite credit card of goodness okay you got two left um the ability to, the ability to fly like superman like an eagle shit there goes the no death run. Well, I, I died multiple times. <laughs> Freddie or Fogarf with a recent comment. Um, what did I say? Uh, flight? Yeah. And then also, uh, the ability to breathe underwater. Okay. That's actually pretty, uh, pretty slick. Can I retract underwater. my wishes and change them? Uh, yes. Yes, you may. All right. I want invincibility. <laughs> Therefore, if I want to go underwater, I can just go do that and and flight. So basically, I'm, I'm basically Superman. <laughs> I want to be Superman. And I'm rich. I want to be super rich, man. <laughs> I want to be I want to be super rich, man. <laughs> I, I've always heard that immortality is more of a curse than a boon. Because like anytime you, you just, <laughs> meet, why, what do you think? But who who said that? Like a My fucking brother. vampire you met on Wednesday or what? Yeah. <laughs> like I, don't know, I always heard that immator. Uh, well, okay. So it, when you look at a bunch of like classic stories and whatnot, a bunch of characters that live forever, like battle severe depression. Um, oftentimes try to off themselves, but like can't because they can't die. You know, they live forever. And they've been around for so many hundreds of years and had so many loved ones just go away that they just don't want to keep doing it anymore, right? And... Oh, I I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but Justin Kelly's baby came. Congratulations, oh, dude. hey, dude. Can we get a big hell yeah in the chats? Let's go. I just, I just have water, so... I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> But we have to pause the stream for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, here comes the, this is the part of the stream where I just get fucked. <laughs> Enjoy! And I just go like back behind us and <laughs> just bend over and just... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> And then, like, put my clothes back on and, like, come back to the camera and act like everything's cool. <laughs> like, nothing happened. You keep adjusting, like, your underwear. Yeah, yeah it's just like like when I launch a Muscure Moose or something. Like, it, it's just as casual as that. I just go back there and just get fucking beef cakes <laughs> and fucking... <laughs> I bet you do, Dylan. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> If you want to know what it's like, just stick a bunch of- like, take a- <laughs> If you want to know what it's like, what the view would be like, just fucking go buy, like, some pizza dough, and then, like, <laughs> throw it on the floor with a bunch of hair, like, if you got a cat or something, and then, like, make a butt crack out of that, because that's basically- I got this big hairy ass. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, don't get hit. I do what I want. Thank you so much. Gulp, gulp. Wait, what? <laughs> glup, glup. <laughs> We're talking about that, and that's what you comment? <laughs> Thank you so much, Gulp Gulp. gulp. <laughs> I love pizza dough ass. It gets me so hard. 
<laughs> You're doing okay. Guys, welcome in. Thank you so much. I got Nick uh, DMEO here from uh, YouTube and TikTok, if you don't know who that is. If you love D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, and like super nerdy shit, anime, like, I don't know, you, you got a wealth of knowledge for all that kind of stuff. I do, I do know things. Charles, hello. Nicole, good to see you. Thank you guys so much for the likes. I got 111 stars coming. Colin, thank you so much. Here we go. Like I said, we're gonna give away a hundred bucks if we can pump up the hearts. We got 87 reactions. We got to get up to 200 for a free rad wheel spin and some more name entries. Oh my gosh! How many times do you have to hit this dickwad? Five times, same as every boss in the game. Okay, well I don't know. I'm not good at this game. No, you did oh, it. Oh, that was kind of random. You're pretty good at this game. <laughs> you really think you have a chance against us? DK, motherfuckers, let's Ooh. go. 